Now realize the drama I'm about to discuss is from a different side of YouTube that you're probably used to me talking about. But when I tell you that this drama is probably the most strange, wild, and bizarre piece of drama I think I've ever seen on this platform, I mean it. So join me as we tell the story of how a YouTuber reviewing a video game turned into a piece of drama that involved copyright abuse, threats to family members, and blatant homophobia. I wish I was joking. He feels that his fantasy is reality and that no one should ever disagree with him. Get this piece of trash off of YouTube. You should be smart enough to know to get a goddamn lawyer. Quantum found Actman's mom's phone number and texted her that we don't want anybody to get hurt over all of this drama. He's sick in the head, Quantum TV. He really is delusional. Abusing the law like this just to stifle criticism or take down videos that you don't agree with is not okay because that's illegal. We'll be met with a counter lawsuit in which I will clean you out. He has no idea that he li he's living in a fantasy. They have no family, no friends, no life. This is fair use, it's not stolen content, you dunce! So there's a few people involved in this, okay? The main two you need to know are Quantum TV and The Act Man. Two YouTubers, by the way, that I wasn't even aware of. I'm going into this situation completely unbiased because I just didn't know who they were. And that's not me trying to throw around the irrelevancy card, by the way. The Act Man has 1.4 million subscribers. I am basically an ant compared to him. Which is actually quite ironic because since editing this video, I realised that I kept calling him The Ant Man throughout this video. So just to clarify, it's not Paul Rudd. It's this guy. But this all started when Quantum TV uploaded a review of a video game called Elden Ring. And I think it's safe to say, he didn't exactly like it. I would say this game is for somebody who really is looking for a sandbox. They have no family, no friends, no life. Yes, that's right. If you do enjoy this certain video game, you don't have a family makes logical sense. So then the act man who likes Elden Ring made a video talking about some of like the worst reviews and the worst takes on Elden Ring. And he mentions Quantum TV's review and he does the absolute worst thing you can imagine a human doing and he uses his video footage. Something I personally would never do, you know? Using another YouTuber's clip from their video? That's disgusting. And then long behold, we had our classic situation of a YouTuber making a commentary slash like reactionary type video. The YouTuber who was used gets really upset, so he tries to strike down the guy's YouTube video. But the best part about this one, YouTube actually denied the request, which by the way, congratulations, that's an improvement. So you think it'd be over from here, right? A guy doesn't like a video, Video game, another guy does like a video game. They both said their points, for some reason one of them gets salty, tries to take down the other one's video, and it gets denied. We should probably leave it there. And I don't think it'll be much of a surprise to you, but that's not how it ended, because I wouldn't be making a video about it if it was. Because Quantum TV then posted on his community tab saying that it was YouTube actually trying to give him the advice to copyright claim in the first place, and then he goes on further to say that he will seek out other options against your piracy of my content. Now first things first, the whole like YouTube giving him the advice in the first place is just a load of shy. He's talking about the live chat feature you get as a YouTuber, which by the way, isn't exactly great. They basically just give the most generic advice. Like he clearly went on the live chat feature, started crying a little bit, said that someone was using his content without his permission, and then they basically said, oh, well, copyright claims are a thing. If you think there's a problem, use it. Because they wouldn't have looked into the situation themselves. They just give the generic advice of, if you think there's a problem, there are features available. So Quantum TV basically hinted that he was gonna take it to court, which by the way, is fucking mental in itself. But this is where we started to find out what Quantum TV was actually like. And it turns out he's a raging homophobe because he also replied to a tweet of two people kissing saying, you have LGBT kissing in church, but we're bigots for rejecting this hateful content. Why weren't you a pulse victim? Shake my head, the world would be a better place without you. I'm sorry, what? What he's referring to here, by the way, is a mass shooting at a gay nightclub in Orlando that killed 49 people. And he's wishing that someone from a tweet was also involved. But this wasn't the first time he also said this. We also have a tweet here that says, Hey, major TV companies, Quantum TV said this. He wants anyone supporting the LGBTQ to be dead. Fuck this guy. To which he gracefully replied, saying... Too bad you weren't a Pulse victim. Yeah. This guy 
is fucking disgusting. But don't worry because he's responded to this and he has a good explanation. It says, David, fuck you and your hate speech against me. Calling me homophobic because I'm anti-gay support is all you liberals can do when someone says no to forced LGBT support. Is this guy a fucking moron? You can't call him homophobic, but he is anti-gay. Which apparently makes sense. He's basically the equivalent of them old blokes at the pub, you know, who have like a few pints and then start screaming from the rafters that they're not homophobic, they just don't like him. Oh, also further down this exact same message, he says the Black Panther is racist and only the most hateful blacks like it. Which, yet again, Makes logical sense, doesn't it? So the Ant-Man actually uploaded a video showing the screenshots that I've just shown there and a bunch more information as well. It's a very good video if you do want to go check it out. Now, obviously, the last time Ant-Man uploaded a video mentioning Quantum TV, Quantum tried taking it down, but somehow he still managed to react to this one worse. Because Quantum TV went on to do the, the most logical thing you can do in this situation and ring up the Ant-Man's mother. I wish I was joking. Yes, is uh, this... I'm calling on behalf of Quantum TV. Your son has been making a string of uh, really defamatory posts about things he doesn't necessarily understand, and I want to try to talk about this. I'm trying to avoid any kind of litigation or lawsuit by talking things out, so is there any way I can get in contact with him? Public records? Yeah, this guy is a fucking weirdo. He rang his mum! He actually rang his mum! Like, how old are you, mate? And you can hear that he clearly got question of how he actually got the number and he replies by saying public records. Mate, you are so strange. He actually went out and searched for this guy's phone number. And he even said somewhere else that he tried getting Ant-Man's phone number at first, but the number that was suggested online was actually disconnected. So he rang his mum instead. Why? You shouldn't be looking for his number, never mind his mother's number. You go to his socials first, right? Like Twitter, Instagram, you send him a message. If he doesn't respond, he doesn't want to talk to you. Hey, you don't then go and find his number. We also have these screenshots from Ant-Man's mom actually messaging Ant-Man himself talking about this phone call and said, try it, but not from anything he can connect with you. Be safe, he's a nut. Yeah, you don't fucking say. Now at this point in the story, this is the only time that I could not agree with what the Ant-Man said or what he's trying to like insinuate. Because he said in this tweet that Quantum actually said to his mom on the phone call, and I quote, we wouldn't want families to get hurt or involved in this, which obviously is a fucking terrifying thing to hear. And Ant-Man responded saying, if we see you Quantum, we shoot on sight. Now obviously what he probably means here is if that this Quantum guy goes to try and do anything involving his family, He's obviously going to take matters into his own hands, but by saying, like, if we see you, Quantum, we shoot on sight to your public audience on Twitter, definitely not the smartest thing to say. And I get it must be a terrifying situation when someone who has wished death upon people in the past publicly is now trying to find out your personal information, ringing your family members and making threats and whatnot, but don't go and tweet stuff like this, you know? go to the police of anything because he has just kind of fucked himself over a little bit if it does go to court because he's also making threats now. But it's just absolutely mental that it's even came to this to think this started from a video game review on YouTube. A video game review! But yeah, I want to start covering other sides of YouTube here on this channel as well, not just the kind of side that I've been covering for a little while now, you know, just to kind of keep it a bit interesting, even if it will do a little bit worse, and I realise it's like a bit different to what you're used to here, I'm still going to do the other stuff as well, but I thought I would cover this because it's... Honestly mental, I don't even know how to describe it. But yeah, if, if you did enjoy, leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit, alright? Goodbye. Die.